think there's something inherently wrong with uh, seeing living beings and, and considering them a product. Actually, I have been following the Instagram for a while and I've been really interested in the movement and kind of getting out here and learning more about vigils in themselves and the purpose behind them. And kind of came out today to document and hopefully make a, a video that can be published and sort of spread more awareness to more people about the conditions that these cows are in. And I mean, even if they do decide to still eat meat, to understand where that meat's coming from and the quality of the meat and hope that they start to care about animals a little bit more. Yeah. Yes, I've been vegan for a few years now. Uh, I think it's just sure. crazy to know that they're throwing animals over the fences uh, in plastic bags just because they don't want to pay. And I don't know, that's just like really harsh. Um, are you vegan as well? I'm not vegan myself, but uh, this doesn't look too good. It doesn't even seem like they're getting the proper nutrients and the, that's the kind of meat that we're eating. It's probably all invested in um, yeah. just unhealthy for them, unhealthy for us. Well, I've already uh, made the decision to not eat um, cow meat at all. Yeah. Uh, not just because of the nature of how they're treated, but also because of the environmental impacts of them and um, just the amount of water consumption and the greenhouse gases that they yeah. emit is um, terrible, so I've already made that decision to stop eating cow meat. I mean, I think just the overall treatment, I mean, even from a business stance, uh, I would think that the product that you're trying to make, the product that you're trying to sell, you would really care about it a little bit more and try and put more effort into making sure it was a good quality product. And seeing this, it, it does not seem like they're really focused on the quality of their product at all. It's, it's really just, these animals are a number to them. They just, they have to get a profit from it and that's it. Do you think there's something inherently wrong with uh, seeing living beings and, and considering them a product, you know? Uh, I think it, it kind of sucks to see them as a product. Um, personally, I, I do believe in like the um, circle of life. I do think that naturally we do eat animals. Um, I think that to the level that we're at right now though, it is unnatural, we're mass producing them and it's, it's so unnatural, like back to our human nature we used to only hunt the animals we need now we're producing more animals more meat on the supermarkets a lot of people buy it they throw it out it goes bad i mean we're wasting food we're wasting these cows we don't need all these cows here uh, there's so many other foods that you can eat and uh, we just have this huge dependency on meat and we need to start kind of pushing it away i think that technology is kind of advancing i think they're finding new products such as like beyond meat um, I think there's definitely alternatives growing. Um, I do think it's unfortunate that they are a little pricey. So I do think that some people, I think some people do need to eat meat, especially people that don't have the financial needs. But people that are, um, do have that step up, I think they can definitely start switching over and making that choice. I think that these farms will probably um, I think the fear is that they'll start losing money from the cows, but the thing is that when one market falls, one market rises, so if we start losing cows from the markets, their money gets lost there, they're going to transition to a new farm and maybe start making plant-based foods instead. Do you think if, if you knew that you could afford it and, you know, that it was accessible and easy, 
Do you think there's any reason that anyone should eat animals? That's like, a tough question. For survival? Uh, for survival, no. Definitely yeah. not. I mean, for survival, you don't need animals. Yeah. That's, that's so. If we don't, there. if we don't need to, why do we? Do you think? At this point, it's uh, for taste, um, for pleasure. Yeah. And you think it's? Do you think that's like a acceptable reason? Um. Also a tough question. Um, like I said, it depends. I think. If you're in I, their position, do you think it's a? <laughs> do you think it's well, a good? Of not. If someone wanted to eat me, I'd say no. But yeah. Um, you know, everyone's fighting for their lives. But yeah. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, these are animals. I think I, I still stick with the idea that we do naturally eat animals. We mm. do naturally eat meat. Um, there are alternatives out there, but. I don't know. Do you have like a dog at home? I do. Yeah. Would you think of him as like him or her as a something to eat? Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think the difference is morally between your dog and the cows? Morally, it's like you guys are, have been saying, uh, we don't see the actual death of these animals. Uh, you know, we see them when they're alive, we think they're cute, and then when we see them at the store, it's a different thing. We disassociate. Animals, I mean, as you were saying, I, everyone is in a fight for their life but they're not caged up like this they're not stuck in one little area to where they're just, just being produced specifically for food because this is these aren't natural beings at, at this point we're we're literally creating the most profitable cow we're looking and and people are looking to make the most money and i don't i don't think it's very natural at all and i think that if these animals were out in the wild there would be a lot more of a fight for their own survival because at this point they can't fight for anything. They're literally in an animal jail. And yeah. personally, I don't think that's right. Yeah, they don't really, that's why people are out here trying to be a voice for them. You know, they use their voices, they scream, they struggle. We see that in the slaughterhouse footage, but nobody's listening, you know? So we're using our voices and our language to speak for them, I think. Um, for me, uh, I mean, speaking with AJ, uh, something that he said sort of really resonated with me is how he started um, being just the quiet vegan, saying, you know what, I'm a vegan myself, it's okay, don't need to worry about others, but seeing the apprehension from people when you start to mention veganism, it sort of becomes very frustrating to see that people you care about that say that they love animals and at the same time they're disregarding animals that they quote unquote love. And it is very frustrating and I think it does sort of help bring up the sort of the spark inside to get more into the activism and trying to spread it, the knowledge. Um, just do some research. You know, you can watch all the videos you want, but nothing's going to change unless you take the time to personally do the research and learn about other diets as well as what's going on. Mm, things don't change unless you change it, right? Yeah. yeah.